Hello everyone, Meisering here, and I'm going to try to win the run with the smallest deck size possible, which in this case is one card, because I can remove a card after each floor, and uh, there are five floors before the end. Although I do need to fail all the bonus objectives, because if I succeed all the bon any of the bonus objectives, there's a chance it'll add a card to my deck. So yeah, the first floor is going to be just super easy. There's no, like, you know, it's just, there's nothing, there's nothing special about the challenge run that makes this floor harder, so, you know, we're just kind of you know, we're just beating the first floor with the starting deck. It's very easy. Um, we almost have checkmate. And, you know... Almost having checkmate is pretty cool, I guess. Oh, you know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to... Um, Oh yeah, so I, I'm, I was thinking, yeah, I'm gonna try to divert the silver, so that this is checkmate, and there was a chance that the opponent could have thwarted it by placing the silver on h8 instead of h7, for example. All right, so we could have promoted something that would have been nice. It were removing a pawn, so we have to figure out what the final unit is going to be. It could be the queen, because the queen is very powerful, but I only get one. I only get one use of the queen, and maybe having like two uses of a rook, or two uses of a, you know, like a knight or bishop somehow is better. Or maybe I get a gambit that makes a unit have more uses. Like, that would be, that would be very helpful for this run. Alright, skip five or fewer purchase phases. Well, that will be very, very easy to fail. Alright, you know what? We'll just double check him because we can. Okay, and then. Eh. There's, there's nothing, like, complicated that I'm trying to do here. Oh, although I kind of. Okay, it's fine. We have... You know, we lose our queen. Which is pretty sad, but, you know, we still have... The rest of our deck. An opponent's... Close to... You know, the opponent's almost out of reserves. You know, just two knights and a pawn. Okay, I'll just take the knight, I guess. Yeah, I'll take the knight. This is protected. He could have blocked the protection if he wanted to, but he didn't. Alright, I'll just take that as well, even though it's not really a good trade. Um. Yeah, whatever. I'll just defend the bishop, even though it can sk still get taken in an unfavorable trade for me. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I still have a rook, a knight, and three pawns, which is more powerful than what the opponent has. You know, I'm just going to, I'm just gonna trade down material. Oh, he didn't even capture, but yeah, I'll just, Take his stuff, and now he just has, like, nothing. I'll even let him take my knight. Alright. I don't know exactly how to, like, make this as fast as possible, but we're gonna 
you know, we're going to try. Um, whatever. We'll just win in overtime. Okay. Oh, there we go. Checkmate. Oh, we could have gotten a power upgrade. That would have been really nice. So, yeah, definitely promote. We're not recruiting a unit for obvious reasons. We're not upgrading our pawn, because upgraded pawns are still, like, not individually strong enough for this kind of run. Okay. A Ronin is kind of scary, but, I mean, I just have to survive his, like, early aggression, and that's it. No big deal. Yeah, as long as I just move to the, you know, away from the center of the board, I guess he's not going to, like... Or as long as I move so I'm not on the same file as him, just move as far away from the same file as I can, then, you know, he can't take advantage of that extra range very well. Alright, we'll just attack the copper because we can. Okay, cool. And now it's protected. Okay, so the diamond... Yeah, it can't... It doesn't have rook movement, except for forward. I'll just have that bishop there. Surely that discovered attack will be useful at some point. Alright. Well, I can... Yeah, now I get this fork. And the fact that the Rona is double-checked doesn't really seem to matter that much. But, it's cool. I think a diamond, I think the enemy diamond is more valuable than my rook. Especially because we can force, yeah, we forced the Ronin forward. I mean, we didn't force him forward, just move forward because he didn't want to take with the silver. But yeah, now he can't, now he can't move back. Um, the gold is defending the silver. Let's attack the bronze. All right, I want to save up for my queen. So... Uh, actually, I can just push the Ronin even farther forward. Yeah. And I guess at this point, I need to move the bishop. Which is fine. Oh, I could have moved it the other way, because the knight was also defending the rook. Uh, okay, so the silver is not actually attacking the rook. Oh, I'm not- oh, you know, I am defending the rook. Okay, it's fine. Um, all right, is this finally checkmate? Not quite. Okay, the bows are both defending the gold. All right, um, oh, there's still a diamond.
And yeah, this is going to be kind of slow. Actually, no, the the gold's not defending B3, so I just do this. Yay. Okay, place forward, move horizontally, or move backward. Well, actually, let's just check the index. Do I do not have backwards movement? Okay, so I guess I gotta choose backwards movement. I mean, uh, there's a good reason I don't have it, because, like, it seems like it's not as good as, like, moving forward or to the side. All right. Complete the round in five minutes or less. So I guess I just wait until I'm about to win and then, you know, just, just pass the rest of the timer. Okay, so we got a rook. We got two rooks. Well, now we have one rook. Whatever, two rooks, two knights, two bishops, and a bunch of pawns. So I guess I want my king to be as far forward as possible to take advantage of this backward movement. Yeah. Um, is this fork any good? Like, am I willing to give up a knight, like a promoted knight, to take a rook and a pawn? You know, I'll do it. You know, the good thing about having a very small deck is that I'm, that I always know what I'm going to draw. I guess that's an argument to have a deck of three cards. Not really a, an argument to have a deck of even fewer than that. Alright, can we get a checkmate soon? Um, okay. Yeah, so the king had to move back like that. And... Yeah, I'm just going to play as safe as I can. Okay, well, that's a win. Well, I guess I wait three minutes. All right. We did it. So, yeah, I couldn't take the risk of it being a special unit. Would have been really nice if I could have gotten a... Hmm. If I could have gotten a promotion or upgrade. Um, random card cost zero. Permanently increases whenever it's played. Okay. Well, that'll be a huge upgrade if it hits the queen. That would be... That would be a pretty big upgrade if it hits the rook as well. That would be a definite downgrade if it hits the knight. Um, if I ha Since I have to remove another card, Farmer's Gambit could be a complete disaster. Yeah, Dealer's Gambit. Let's go. Boo. Alright, what are we removing now? Well, this will cost zero, then one. And then next round, it'll cost two, and then three. So it's going to cost me one energy during the final round, which is, like, not the worst, and I also might end up removing this. I think, well, hmm. I kind of want to keep the queen, but the queen is such a bad unit in this kind of challenge. You only get one. I'll remove the rook anyway. Okay. 
Six or fewer captures. Okay, so we have bronzes, coppers. Okay, the opponent has two uh, rubies, and those are the only... Those are, like, the only real threats here. If it, if it ends up being possible for me to win without playing... Um, without playing both of my promoted knights, that would be pretty nutty. Hmm. My king can retreat very quickly. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just continue to continue to wait and hmm yeah I think I keep waiting just uh you know the, these coppers are kind of useless if I can get the coppers and bronzes are kind of useless if I can get behind them all right, I'm gonna move diagonally. That'll make it less. Uh, that'll make it harder for the opponent to use the irons. All oh, the one iron. Um. Okay. Well, I need to start threatening stuff. I think. Yeah, I. I think I do want to try to complete this optional objective because a promotion would be really nice, and and a power upgrade would also be really nice. And hopefully, there's like I'm like guaranteed to not get the same type of bonus twice in a row. Um. Okay. These are protecting each other. Yeah, I do. I, I can't just not play the knight. Maybe I can only play. Maybe I can just only play one of them. But I can't just not play it at all. Um. Okay. Maybe the opponent just like places something on. I don't know, I'm like hoping the opponent pl blunders checkmate, but uh, I don't know. I'll just just repeatedly put the opponent in check, because I can. Okay, well, now this is very much protected. Um, you know, check. There we go. Yeah, now he just has to move back. And mm, yeah, that is protected. Okay, well let's just um, let's just flee in a big hurry. Okay. I'm really hoping I don't have to play my second knight, but that that seems we'll see if that ends up being way too greedy. Okay. Um now Now what? I'll uh, just move my queen closer and hope for the best. Oh, the iron moved back onto e6. Yeah, I'm, I was kind of hoping to place my knight on d8 without losing it. Well... I don't know. Alright, now I gotta move like this. And, okay, both the rubies are down. I'm not sure if that's something I'll be able to capitalize on. But we'll do, you know, we just keep checking and hope for the best. I really don't have much of a strategy here. 
Um, yeah, who am I kidding? Not being able to, or not having to play both of my knights. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just moved my knight back there, and then my now that my other knight is allowed to move... Um, yeah, we put him here. Um, there's actually nothing defending this bronze other than the king, so if I can... I can get another attacker on it. <laughs> this is so stupid. But, well, now it's not being attacked by the queen. Okay. Yeah, he's not attacking... Uh... Oh, he's not attacking F6 or F5. Well, I want to threaten the ruby. Actually, oh, yeah, I'm double attacking the ruby, but, oh, wait a second. It's only defended once. It's defended by the bronze. Huh, but I also have to get my queen and my king off of the... Uh, the outer edge of the the outer ring of the map. Okay. Actually, I can't get my queen off the outer ring of the map. That's awkward. Um. Okay. Well, let's just move our king forward, I guess. What else can I do? Yeah, that's not... Oh, that is protected. Oh, okay. It's fine. I can move um, up again. It's protected by that iron. Iron's a pretty strong unit. Goodbye, queen. Um... Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, they just attack the iron, and then, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to move this way. I, I figure if I move to F6, then... Oh, yeah, now he just moves his king. Oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, he didn't realize that my knight was going to fall off the board. Okay, power upgrade. Yes. Cool. Okay. Do I want my knight to cost zero? Wait, who's the next... Oh, I wish I knew who the next opponent was, because if it was Legion, then I would feel pretty confident just having a queen. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... I'm I think it's Legion. Alright, goodbye, upgraded, promoted knight. Yeah, okay. So yeah, now my queen can just... I, I'm pretty confident my queen can just win by herself.
Yeah, like, by the time it hits overtime, like, I'm probably gonna be able to capture, uh... I'm probably gonna be cap able to capture something every turn. Um, well, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, I get the plebeian. Alright, now what? I don't want to let Legion get too close to my king, but that kind of already happened. I don't want him to be able to harass my king by just putting putting stuff down. And then I lose turns. Though I guess if I just get to take pieces for free, I'll, you know, I'm happy with that. Okay, the bronze, yeah, the yeah, the Bronze and the Plebeian have already been played, so the opponent only has, like, the unupgraded, weak pawn-type units. So yeah, there, there aren't going to be any surprises. I'm not going to, like, accidentally get wrecked from the wrong direction. Um, you're like, oh, wow, this thing can actually move behind it. Like, no, that's not going to happen. Or like, oh, this thing can move two squares. Like, no, that's not going to happen either. Uh, okay, well. Yep, free capture. Um, okay, now what? Well. Yeah, this square is perfectly safe. Okay. And that's checkmate, actually. Wow. Promoted queens are actually kind of strong. So, yep. That's... We won with the minimum size deck possible, which is one card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a silly run. It was only possible because I went against Legion, who's definitely, like, the easiest boss to defeat. What did I get here? Oh, yeah, the backwards movement. Okay, cool. Yeah, so these are all locked because they're not available in the demo, and that's where I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.